Shaman. What's, what's, what's going on, YouTube? Washington. This is what, 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 Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is your boy Jamari Four here once again, and we are here to review episode four, I believe this is. Yeah, episode four of RuPaul's Drag Race season seven. And this has been my favorite episode thus far. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. Uh, in combination with Untucked. And what I decided to do was to review the episode after I've watched Untucked, so uh, because there would be things in Untucked that I would want to cover in the review as well. So I'm waiting until after I've seen the Untucked episode to conduct my review. So, but yeah, this is still um, one of my favorite episodes, including the Untucked, because the Untucked was very. It humanizes this whole experience that they go through, honestly. Like, I'm starting to slowly understand why they did it the way they did for the untucked because before the untucked yeah there were emotional parts of it but it seems like this go around it seems more real and because the untucked before they were still heavily edited it was still you know meant for shits and giggles but it seems like this untucked is more humanizing it's more uh just like real in my opinion. But anyway, we're going to get to the actual episode. So there was no uh, legitimate uh, mini challenge just go around. The whole week was dedicated to making parody music videos to some of RuPaul's songs. Okay, and there, there were three groups and they were chosen amongst themselves. They just kind of divided amongst themselves into three different groups. So the first group, which consists of Pearl, Miss Fame, Katya, and Trixie Mattel were, <coughs> ooh, ooh, Lord. They were given Dance With You. Now, if you see me looking over here to the side, I have my notes here, because I was going to try to do this without notes and just remember, but I'm, I, I don't trust that. I'm, I'm going to forget you. <coughs> so, they were assigned the song Dance With You from the album Born Naked. I think all of the songs from the episode were from that album, Boy Naked. And if you have, and I'm, I haven't even said this before, you know, RuPaul always likes to drop a new album with each uh, season. If y'all haven't gotten his new album, The Realness, make sure y'all go cop that. It's like a whole lot of 90s house dance music. Love it. But anyway, they were assigned Dance With You. Now, it was Trixie's idea to come up with the concept of uh, tan with you. He's like, I want to tan with you. Everybody's, you know, all burnt in the sun and blah, blah, blah. And at first, they were kind of hesitant, like, eh. I think it was Pearl, who was kind of like, eh. but that's, like, so basic, or something she said. And then, uh, Miss Fame turned around and was like, okay, well, do you have a better idea? And she was like, well, no, but I think we come up with something better than that. And I'm just like, and you know what? When you're in a group <clears throat> and somebody shoots out an idea, and you're just like, well, I don't like that. It's this, it's that, it's that, that, and the fourth. And I mean, it's one thing to disagree, but I feel like if you're going to down something, like down it hard, you should have some sort of follow-up suggestion or solution. And Pearl didn't have that. And that usually frustrates me when I'm, when, you know, we're in a group and we're trying to come up with a, con uh, uh, a consensus but you're downing everything, but yet you don't have anything to offer as a solution. I usually get irritated by that. But uh, Pearl and Miss Fame were bumping heads the entire rehearsal. And uh, when they did actually go into the studio, <sighs> <laughs> the studio, man, the studio can work some magic. <clears throat> so Pearl is you know, singing in her the most monotone voice that she can. I want to dance, dance. I want to dance, dance. I want to dance, dance. Dance with you. Oh, tan with you, sorry. But still, it was just like... The whole way. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, Pearl. Oh, Pearl. I still love the girl, but... <laughs> wake up girl but uh who was next fame girl miss fame 
And Miss Faye was in the, you know, the previews and stuff, talking about she had the strongest voice, but she was up there. <laughs> now, she was like, she has the strongest voice, but the thing is, when you're comparing it to Pearl and Trixie, who was just as bad as Pearl, she just could she could only sing in one octave too. And she was like, she was a singer. And I'm like, girl, from what I've seen, that's false. <laughs> She and so I mean I guess when you're not comparing it to much I guess you are the strongest singer fame, but <laughs> no. So moving on to the next group, uh, which consists of Violet, Chachki, Max, and uh, Jaden. Do you feel? <laughs> They were assigned Sissy That Walk. Now, <laughs> yet again, when Violet is a part of a group and someone gives out an idea, what does she say? Well, I think we come up with something better than that. Like, I think Jaden was like, her first idea was, uh, what she said, like face like chalk or had like really bad makeup or something like that. She's like, I think we come up with something better than that. I'm just like, bitch, you are the type of motherfucker. You are even worse than Pearl. You're just like, I think we come up with something better than that. You know, we should really do it fast because you know, we don't have a lot of time. Well, bitch, what do you think we should do, bitch? What do you, what ideas do you have? <laughs> that should make me so damn angry. Like, bitch, shut the fuck up. You sit here complaining and talk about we're running out of time. It's not providing any flow of creativity here. So, save it, bitch. So, Rue comes over, and <laughs> he asked them, you know, like, what ideas do you have, or whatever, and he says, or Jaden says, you know, their idea that they came up with, or that they decided for him was, you know, get ready to clock. And I'm just like, eh, all right, it, it, all right. And, man... <laughs> Max was saying something like, well, you know, we didn't want it to be too dirty or raunchy. We didn't want to do anything like that. And then uh, Violet said that they have confessional, like, be <laughs> like, we can't do anything raunchy. It is that. I mean, like, it's, it's true, though. It would be so common. That would be so expected to turn something into raunchy lyrics, like, just out of the blue. Uh, and that's what Pearl was trying to, uh, Pearl, but uh, that's what Miss Fame was trying to do first of all. She said, oh, uh, what if we turn to something raunchy, like, I want to fuck with you, like, come down and let me suck your cock, or something they had to bleep out, you know? And I'm just like, ew. And here's another thing. I don't want to talk about no queen like that, you know, as far as, you know, per what the fuck is that? How'd that get here? The hell? Sorry. Something on my table that just caught me. But anyway, Miss Fave, the way that she talks sometimes... She's the one of the people that talks with their tongue sometimes. And it it's slight, but it still kind of pokes at me and bothers me that when I see it. And, and I got to uh, say something about her runway look a little bit later. I didn't notice it until I saw it untucked. And somebody mentioned it, that she did the same thing with her entry into the workroom look. You know, when she looked like the Pokemon Starmie or somebody said she looked like Gengar. I'm going to get on that lady, though. Uh, <clears throat> mm. yeah. back, <laughs> back to this damn episode. So, you know, they're going over to, you know, Violet and them, and they still have that whole vibe. They're getting, uh, Max is talking about, um, <laughs> Violet can be like a little bitchy. And <laughs> for some reason, it felt weird to hear Max say bitchy. I don't know why it just felt odd. But, uh, so that's their team. They, they good. Let the music play is given to team, uh, Ginger, Minge, Kasha, Mrs. Kasha Davis, Kennedy Davenport, and Candy Ho. I don't really think they had any relative issues as far, I don't even think they showed them in practice. At least if they did, I don't remember. But to these actual, like, vocal, Ginger was funny. Uh, Mrs. Kasha David had that whole, hey, how you doing, type of voice going on. And I'm just like, girl, <laughs> stop. 
<laughs> and they asked, you know what, Rue did go into the workroom and asked if uh, anybody in their group had done parodies before. <clears throat> and Mrs. F not Mrs. Fan, Mrs. Kasha Davis said that she did a parody of Rihanna's song S and M called Suburban. And it was like su 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 bur and 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 you know what? She said that in the episode, but before that episode even aired, like I followed Miss Kiskasha David on Twitter and she retweeted that video and I watched it. No. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That was, I mean, it was quirky, but I wouldn't, nah, mm -mm. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to have these videos be long, too, but this was a good episode, shit. I'm just going to sit here and talk, damn it. <laughs> um, let's see, was there anything else I wanted to say about them? Eh, their studio, eh, wasn't nothing much to it. So, they get to the filming of these videos. <clears throat> oh, shit, how could I forget about this let the music play part? So, they're doing this rehearsal for the video, for the Let the Music Play. I want to make sure I get this before I forget about it. And they said something bad about Drag You. Now, I'm not going to lie. For me, personally, Drag You didn't get grasp me that much, but I still appreciated what Drag You was. Okay? And they were trying to say, uh, they were trying to talk about, you know, Rue making money, uh you know, things that he's accomplished, but they was trying to say Drag You was a rough spot, and then Rue was like, what was that lyric you said about Drag You? And it was like, uh, it was a rough spot. And they was like, oh, well, that was one of my favorite jobs and changed a lot of people's lives. And they were just like, shit, we've already cut the track, it's too late now, and <laughs> so they didn't fuck that up. I was like, Who's that? why do you think that would be a good idea to talk about the host of the show that you're trying to win one of their other shows. Why would you think that would be a good idea? If anything, you should have updragged you for what it did. Not try to... They try to take jabs at Rue and it will jab a little bit too far. <laughs> so, let's see. Sissy that walk with a bottle in them. Oh, boy. Violet was good. I think she channeled the door well enough to, you know, capture the essence. Jaden had Bianca down okay from the makeup to the gestures it was she did an amazing job <laughs> as bianca and it was so funny um max oh max max tried they were supposed to be like the three finalists from last season you know courtney act adore and bianca del rio and max tried i really do believe that max tried his best to try to do Courtney, but the thing is, there's not much to Courtney other than being pretty. So, I mean, granted, she was kind of like all over the fucking place in that video and shit, looking like she was getting whatever. Uh, so that's really all the backs had, and they were saying that she was he was the weakest, which in comparison to the other two, he was, but I believe he didn't have as much to go off of. Like, Adore and Bianca are both very big personalities, very, you know, imitatable. Like, it's a clear definition. You can clearly see when somebody's acting like Bianca Del Rio and somebody's acting like Adore. Like, it's hard to tell when somebody's acting like Courtney Act. Like, what do you do other than be pretty? You know? <laughs> and that's no shade, but... You know, no tea, no shade, no pink lemonade, as per Jasmine Masters. It's, it just is what it is. So, last you got this dance with you. Now, this was a... It, it kind of was a train wreck. They were so unorganized. They were trying to, still trying to figure out what choreography they wanted to do while at the shooting. And then Trixie is going in and out of frame. She's like, oh, I didn't know I was supposed to... I thought I was just supposed to do my little telephone bit and go back out and then come back in. And they was like, no, you sit there, ham it up, you know, do what you do, just so we can have extra footage to work with and this, that, and four. And they was like, oh, do we want to roll on the ground like rotisserie turkeys? And uh, I'm going to do the little leg kick thing. And it was just like... They were just doing the most, but... <clears throat> 
we come out on the main stage and the theme is just green. Uh, bring your best in green. Pearl. Oh my God. Oh my God. I've waited to see this look since I saw that fucking trailer. And this bitch looked like a motherfucking snake. Now, what I didn't know was that there was no nothing going on from the waist down. Pearl, the, and they said this in Untucked. They said if you just padded just a little bit with that outfit, that would have been so much better. But the thing is, I feel like padding sometimes well I guess if you if you're a drag queen of this caliber you should do it you can you know how to do it right but since Pearl is so small framed if she were to pad it almost seemed like it would look disproportional to her her legs like she has really small thin legs and if she padded it would look unorthodox I just feel maybe a little bit but I just feel like that's if you if you had to do it right I guess because when I think about it I feel like it would just look disproportional but this bitch came out looking like a motherfucking snake. Her make, her makeup, and she had the fangs and the emblem on it. I just loved everything about it from the waist up. I loved everything about it from the waist up. Oh, well, Pearl Pearl has no little, no ass. It's so cute. But yes, Pearl was probably my definite favorite. <laughs> just because that look is still everything to me. Miss Fame had a, um, she had a cute little... I mean, it, it was nothing wrong about it, but there was nothing just like, oh, about it, you know. Um, Katya. What did Katya wear? Oh, God. Yes, Katya from the, uh, had that uh, outfit on from the trailer with that long green gown and the big hair. And she just bitched and came out, flipped her leg over and stomped on the shit. And I was just like, okay, girl. I see you, Miss Katya. Whatever your last name is. <laughs> Uh, Trixie Mattel came out in, you know, all types of Japanese and Asian couture. I liked it. It was very cute. It was very Trixie. Uh, yeah, I have nothing really bad to say about it. Violet. Violet, again, is trying to show off her non-ass. Like, her ass is so small, the cracks barely even there. And you know, she had the contoured boob and the green feathers and whatever. And I'm just like... Put your ass away, girl. You if you're gonna have if you're gonna show off something, have some more more cakeage to it, not a bone and a motherfucking raw turkey like Miley Cyrus. Like, give me something. Give me I don't know. Maybe it's just me and my personal preferences. If I see an ass, I wanted to have some voluptuousness to it, just a little bit. You don't have to have like a motherfucking badonka donk, but just have something. Something. You know what I'm saying? Max had some little pasties. <laughs> and a little green dress with a little gray hair or whatever. They tried to challenge Max to have more uh, uh, not, not more, but they wanted to challenge him to have a, a look without gray hair. But I'm like, this is his character. This is who Max's drag persona is. So, to take away the gray hair, to me, is taking away from his character. So, I mean, I understand you probably want a different, but I just don't not for him. Like, it's I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I feel like that, that's unnecessary. I feel like it would take away from his look. He may not, you know, feel as confident. I guess they're trying to force versatility, but I don't, I don't feel like that's necessary. Uh, Jaden had like a, you know, traditional Jaden uh, look. Ginger. Kennedy had a very nice, pretty gown with like rhinestones, like all of her hand and whatnot. It was cute. Candy Ho had a green dress with like green tinted hair, which was eh. Kasha Davis, bitch, yes, God. This bitch came out with a motherfucking money dress. Dollar bills all down the dress and had like a, a, a like what you would think like a fur, like you would carry around like a fur. This bitch had dollar bills, bitch. Just, I was like, yes, Mrs. Kasha Davis. <laughs> you know, Mr. Ka Mrs. Kasha Davis and Ginger Minge and even Kennedy are three people who, from when we had like the Meet the Queens, I kind of counted them out early. But they're actually a hell of a lot of a stronger contenders than I thought. And I'm fairly impressed. <laughs> um, let's see. Did I miss anything? Um, actually, all the videos were good. Um, um, all the videos were very good. Even the, the one that was with Pearl and them. 
that I thought was going to be a disaster. Katya was so fucking funny in that video. I felt like <laughs> she was definitely the star of that. Um, Sissy That Walk, Jaden was the star of that. Uh, let the music play. Um, that was kind of like a jump, a toss up between Ginger and Kennedy. Candy Ho was still looked very nice and had very good ad libs, but once again, Candy Ho just faded into the background, and I, she just really hasn't stood out since the season began. Really, like the biggest thing that she had was that big box on her head, and that was great. But just as a whole, Candy is just back there now i don't know if that's a strategy but i don't i can't say that that's gonna work very long especially with the competition getting stiffer and stiffer like i thought candy ho was gonna go home this week but she didn't and after all it was after it was all said and done it came down to max and pearl being in the bottom two and i was just like oh wow did not see this coming. I, first of all, I had a feeling. I never even thought about Pearl ever lip syncing. But, yeah. And then Trixie, I'm just like, oh, wow. I, I knew Pearl wasn't going to go home. So when they put them in the bottom two, I'm like, damn, this is when Trixie go home? I didn't expect her to go home this early. I, I thought she was going to be one of the top contenders. But, but anyway, this lip sync was very interesting because they had two totally different approaches on the song. It was like Trixie was hamming it up, being comedic and, you know, giving all the faces and just like, ooh, ah, mm. And yet Pearl, <laughs> I'm not sure what Pearl was doing. Pearl was making it into like a goth song. She was just giving you all of this and all of this. And I was just like, <laughs> Per, but still beat down, though. Pearl is gorgeous. <laughs> That's one thing I can say. Pearl is gorgeous. But anyways, in my opinion, to that lip sync, I would have gave it to Trixie, personally, just based off the lip sync. I'm sure there was a lot more other things it was based off of. But in my opinion, Pearl should have, well, Trixie should have won that lip sync. And with the untucked, damn, this video was long. I hope y'all like this long video. <laughs> uh, with the untucked, the only the the topics that were discussed were you know Jaden tried to confront Violet about you know her being a bitch to the uh, studio guy, and while they were, excuse me while they were recording, and she was just like, well, I just I'm just honest about my feelings. Oops, excuse me, sorry, I burping y'all. But my thing is Violet. You're wondering why you're picked last. People have mentioned you about your attitude and how you say things over and over again, but yet you still don't get it. It's all, I mean, it's one thing to have an opinion, but it's all in how you deliver it and how you say it. So if you come off a certain way and people are telling you this over and over again, then that means that something ain't right with you, bitch. And the other thing that was the main part of the Untucked episode was Pearl, you know, feeling like she was picked on, you know, feeling like, you know, she was... Uh, upset about, you know, possibly having a lip sync against Trixie or, uh, and you know, she just, she had to go outside. She had to have a smoke break and Ginger, Miss Fame, and I want to say Max came outside to comfort her and say, Hey, you know, bitch, I'm here. You're here for a reason. You're amazing. You're this, you're that. And it's really nice to see, uh, the side of the Queens that's supportive and not everybody just being cutthroat about the competition. So... They were outside, you know, and they were comforting Pearl and let her have her little smoke break. And she just got very emotional. Her and Trixie had an emotional moment. You know, she was just like, Trixie is a genuine friend. You know, I almost feel like she deserves to be here more than me. And so during the lip sync, uh, Pearl broke down when she found out that she won. And she was just, you know, like, I just love her so much. And, you know, Trixie is cool. I will say that Trixie is, you know, really supportive. And even though I may not have fucked with her too hard in the beginning, I like, I, I grew to like her a lot. And, you know, it's kind of a shame that she had to leave. But every week it has to be somebody. Only ten queens remain. And it looks like that's so fast that four of them have gone already. 
wow, this the competition is really not even that <laughs> ain't that far from being damn near over. But that was the episode, you guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this long ass video. <laughs> But I had a lot to say about the episode, and it was one of my favorites, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you have a Twitter account, make sure you follow me at Jamar84. All my information will be in the bottom. And if you follow the other queens of RuPaul, make sure you share the video. Let them, you know, let them check me out as well, if you, uh, if you can. But uh, thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Like, share, subscribe. Washington, Washington, Washington.